Vasquez. 91. Lee. Where I come from, people don't follow their dreams. When I was like 17, 18 years old, I made my mind up that I was, I'm for the die in these streets. Prison, certain communities, vulnerability is seen as a weakness. People tend to look where you're vulnerable at and take advantage of it. In this environment, the rap, that's their language. That's their way of communicating. To keep it real, I'm not really in the writing mood because I'm trying to live wise and not die a fool. And I'm gonna refund the lies that we buy into. Tapping into my feelings and putting my emotions out there or something that, you know, in my environment, you don't really this do. This process of utilizing art for emotional, social, financial education could change the world. Cause it's time for truth and tie the noose. Just let me breathe, I'll plant seeds and I'll find my roots. But you don't be vulnerable. You don't, you know, expose your feelings to different people. First thing I want to make sure you understand is that it's not an open mic. Do you have? Do you understand we're not an open mic? Because an open mic means anybody can come and anyone can do anything they want. We're here working. One another. Stop judging and get to know one another. Even though it's my circumstance, I can actually be a positive for someone that's following me. Can't afford it to turn a blind eye. It's war. You represent an entire culture and community. Even though it's your art that speaks the loudest, if your art isn't conveying anything, we're wasting our time. When I first got to uh, San Quentin, I heard about this program and that she was the first producer of Tupac. Growing up in the hood, listening to his music, I wanted to meet you just because you knew him. Pac wanted to write the piece that changes somebody's life tomorrow. You don't really know who a person is until they open their mouth. I educated myself because I was born in ignorance. If dreams wrote checks, my loved ones would thrive. That one song, that one poem, that one drawing can have more impact than us sitting around over and over having discourse. So what do you think your responsibility is to uh, your audience and to younger people who are going to be listening to and are listening to your lyrics? Sometimes in here, and we to be honest, it's the hype that I'm in here, man. Let's keep it honest, man. Yeah, I do we have do it up yeah. That's all I'm saying. So let's first accept the fact that you do that. When I perform, I want people to feel me. I'm gonna give you my all, and I'm just, I want you to know who I am. That doesn't mean that I'm just going out creating this message. This is where I'm from. This right. is what I live. Right. So when I put this out to the masses, they relate. All because for the block, for the turf. It's a possibility y'all might not never get out of here. Look, I mean, look, look in this room, bro. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I said, look, look, look up in here, man. Like, you don't see nothing blacks in this room. There's a lot of fathers in here, too. You know? And as a man, you don't want to be viewed as being weak. So you tend to hold back on who you really is. But through my sessions, you like, you strip all that down. And you actually tap into who you really is. I always said after I work with Tupac, and I've worked with a lot of artists, the world loves him. Why? Because we relate to his pain, his trauma, and his ability to tell the truth about it. Understanding that you guys have influence, you have to be mindful of what comes out of your mouth. And at least give some understanding of the words you're using, understand the context with it, and don't try to say, oh, it don't mean nothing, because it do mean something. We don't have to spend 10, 15, 20 years in a cage to understand the consequence of one's behavior. When you're rapping, you're able to hear what you're saying. And when you're able to hear what you're saying, you could be like, dang, I have a better understanding to myself. This is what's really going on with me. Fundamentally, someone that's worked on themselves and worked on their emotional issues is going to be a much safer person to be around. I think our biggest downfall is we didn't understand or even acknowledge that there's a greatness in us. We settle. Everybody in here settles. The stuff that I glorified when I was young, I was wasting my time. Sometimes the brightest minds are behind bars, blinded because brilliance misdirected is legal.